Hi, I kind of look like a boy, but it's okay. We're gonna get ready. I'm sorry. You may be wondering, what am I gonna get ready for? And I will tell you, um, no, nothing really, pretty much nothing. Um, I don't have any plans, but I just kind of felt like putting on some makeup. My hair's in the middle part, so I think I'm gonna curl it. Who knows, I might go to Target. Um, this is by no means gonna be a tutorial. Um, my mirror's down here. I'm just pretty much gonna do my makeup and chit chat a little bit. Um, oh no. <gasps> oh my god, do you see that? Why did it do that? My primer, when I just now, as you saw, when I tried to put my primer on, it literally just like rolled up and like didn't do anything. That sucked. That was weird. Okay. Whatever. It's okay. I'm, it's, it's okay. It's fine. As I was saying, this is not going to be a tutorial. I'm just going to do my makeup, chit chat. If you have any questions about anything that I'm using, I would be more than happy to talk to you about it. Just leave me a comment. Um, as you may or may not know, I posted a video in like August. I posted three videos in August. I really wanted to, you know, have a YouTube channel and I have not posted anything since August. It's May 16th and I am now posting another video, but you know what? That's okay. It really is. It's okay. It is so hot in my room right now. I don't know why. I have like lip sweat. Like it's really freaking warm in here, but I can't turn on the fan because it makes too much noise and I'm not going to disrespect you guys like that. So I'm just going to suffer. It's okay. Let's talk about this quarantine. Um, I started working at Ulta in like beginning of January and honestly I love working there. I love my managers, my co-workers, I love the job in general, like it's great. But I must admit, after being in quarantine for months and not having to go to work, I feel kind of weird about eventually having to go back. Um, they haven't made any like announcements or anything on like when we are going back. I'm technically furloughed right now. But I just know it's going to sneak up on me. Like, in the next week or two, I'm going to get a phone call saying, Hi, Hi guess, what? guess what? You have to you come have to, to work tomorrow. tomorrow. And I'm just going to be like, Ugh. It's okay. I'm, I'm not stressing. It'll be... It'll be fine. It'll be nice to have some structure and, like, kind of get back to things. I must admit that I have been doing a lot of online shopping. Um... Kind of just random things. I've gotten some makeup, I've gotten some skincare. I haven't really bought any clothes, which honestly I should because I, I'm i not very good at dressing myself, like I don't really have a, like a style. So I struggle when I want to wear something cute because I like, I don't really have anything cute. I own a lot of like t-shirts and leggings and sweatpants and a couple pairs of jeans and like that's about it so I kind of want to online shop a little bit and maybe get some cute clothes that I can wear and not look like a hobo. Okay let's just not talk about my eyebrows right now. I know that they don't look very good. I'm trying to let them grow out because this one in particular like where my arch is um I like over tweezed it and it got really really thin there so I'm trying to let it grow back and just kind of fill in naturally but they're kind of messy right now. This is a brand new foundation. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. There's It's oil free, it lasts 12 hours, and there's sunscreen in it. That's all wonderful and I bought this online so I was really really nervous to match myself but on Ulta's website they have like a like a virtual try on where you can pull like it pulls up your camera and you can like click on the different shades of the foundation in order to see what your uh, match would be and I think I did a pretty good job it's not bad <gasps> oh my god I forgot I have fake tan on this is so not my color shit oh 
you know what, I don't care. I'm just gonna put it on and then I'm gonna take a slightly darker foundation and put that on as well. We're caking it up today, I don't care. I'm not taking all of this off. I don't really know if you can tell on camera, but my neck and like my arms especially are tanner than my face is. So, um, that's okay. I'll fix it. I'll figure something out. We're not gonna worry about it. I have a little bit of this Remarkable foundation by Marc Jacobs. It's super, like, full coverage and scary, but I think it's what I'm gonna have to use because it's darker and I think it will help, um, with my color matching situation. I'm just putting a really small amount on because this shit is full coverage. Full coverage. Okay, that might have helped a little bit. I don't know. Now my face is very cakey, but that's okay. I... I don't care. I don't have time to worry about it. Just kidding. I have all the time in the world. I'm just being lazy. Ooh, I know something I could do today. Um, one of my best friends is a super duper talented jewelry maker and she recently came out with a new collection of necklaces and they were all really really gorgeous but there was one in particular that I just flippin loved and I texted her right away and I was like hey I need that necklace like that is freaking beautiful so I could go get that I could go pick that up today and show y'all how talented she is in fact I will link her um twitter and her little jewelry shop in the description in case anybody wants to check it out. This bronzer, this is the Hula bronzer, it's technically way too dark for me because when I don't have fake tan on, um, what am I trying to say? Like right now with fake tan on, this looks perfect. But when I don't have fake tan on, I feel like it looks a little bit orange, like it, it really isn't the right tone for my pale ass but it's what I have. It works. I don't typically wear fake tan. Um, I just randomly decided to put it on the other day because I don't know I was feeling a little bit insecure. I feel like I don't look as good when I am pale. I didn't mean for that to come across as like conceited. It's, it's just the truth. I just feel like I look better when I'm tan. And I feel like I feel like my makeup also looks a lot better when I'm tan, so I just decided to put on some fake tan. Riveting story. I know I said I wasn't going to talk about the products that I'm using, but I just really quickly want to talk about this mascara. It's by the brand Essence. It's called Lash Princess. Um I got it at Ulta. I'm sorry. I feel like I've been talking about Ulta a lot. I love makeup. And I work there, so it's on my mind a lot. Basically, I picked up this mascara like a month or two ago. I am obsessed with it. It is four dollars. Four dollars. It's so cheap and it's so good. Um, I get the waterproof one because um, if I use a mascara that isn't waterproof, like after I curl my lashes and apply it, it just weighs my lashes down and then they stick straight out and that is not a good look for me. So I always get my mascaras, um, waterproof. I never buy, like, um, super expensive mascaras because I just don't see the point. I only, 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 only buy drugstore mascara. You will never catch me spending, what, $25, $30 on a tube of mascara. It's just, it's crazy. The stuff is so good. It just, it makes my lashes really long and separated and it lasts all day. It doesn't like clump or what am I saying? It doesn't um, like flake off throughout the day because I'm not a person that wears um, any sort of like lash primer. I feel like I should curl my hair today. Since I'm putting on makeup, might as well do the whole nine yards. Also, I don't know if I already said this or not, but my hair is middle parted and I don't typically wear my hair in a middle part, so I'm going to have to figure out a good way to style it because my forehead is kind of big and it's like very square. I don't have a Kardashian forehead. We'll figure something out. Welcome to my bathroom. Different lighting in here. Also, probably different sound. 
I have decided I am gonna curl my hair. So I'm just spraying on some heat protectant. I don't know if that actually does anything, but it makes my hair really soft and in my mind, I am protecting my hair, so. I have been watching New Girl lately. I started watching it, I started watching it um, like a couple weeks ago maybe, and I am flying through it. I'm gonna be so sad when it's over because it is such a good show. There was a few episodes that I just watched that Megan Fox guest starred in. She is so pretty. I am obsessed. Why can't I look like her? Why? I don't really have a method for curling my hair. I just kind of, I just kind of wing it, you know? Okay, hair is curled. Looks pretty good. Not bad. I'm gonna hairspray it. BRB. Okay, um, the last thing I have to do is get dressed. So, I'm gonna do that. I'll see you in a minute. I changed! Not really. I kept on the same shirt, but instead of pajama pants, I'm now wearing leggings, so... There you go. I'm on my phone now. Sorry, my camera was being problematic, but I just picked up the necklace from Shelby. If you can see, it's like a little lotus flower, and then there's amethyst crystals on it. And it's so pretty, I love it. She even gave me her business card. As I mentioned earlier, I will link her social media and her shop um, down below if you want to check it out. She makes beautiful things. She's always coming out with new things, so support her. So I think I'm going to end the video here because, believe it or not, I really don't have anything else to do today. Um, I'll probably just watch New Girl and hang out with my parents. So just want to say thank you for watching. You're the best. Love you.